Hi friends, today we are going to learn how to do a mold flow analysis in Moldex 3D Professional. So let's start, just click the new button, change the name of the project. First step is we need to import the geometry with auto heal option. Select the elbow. Okay, we need to define this 3D model as part file. For that, just select attribute, select the part file, the model, and define this as part. Okay, next up, we need to define the gate. So I'm defining a pin gate on this location. If you want, you can change the diameter. And also, if you want, you can change the length also. Now we are going to define the melt entrance point. Next we need to uh, define the cooling channel. So I am importing the uh, cooling channel. Select these two cooling channels and select attribute. Okay. So now we are going to uh, define the mold base. If you have the mold base, you can import that model also. Right now I am using the default mold base in uh, Moldex 3D. So I am uh, accepting the default values and not changing the dimension. If you want, you can change these dimensions. Now we are going to define the cooling channel inlet and outlet. This also you can define manually. Okay, now we are going to mesh this model. I am accepting this default value mesh size. Now we are going to generate the mesh. So the mesh generation is completed. So now the mesh is ready for analysis. Now we are going to define the part material. So select the material wizard. There are a large number of materials are available in Moldex 3D Bank. Now I am using a PVC material. So different manufacturers and PVC materials are available. So right click any material and add to project. So it will add to the project. So now we are defined the part material. Now we are going to define the process conditions. The setting method I am using right now CAE method. 
uh, if you have all the uh, input parameters like the injection pressure the packing pressure you can use uh, the machine mode so these kind of, these details we will get from the shop floor now i am using the ca mode in that also if you want you can change the injection pressure the packing pressure details right now i am using all the default values for filling time i am changing to 4 second packing time i am changing to 10 second cooling settings the cooling time i am ch changing to 30 seconds okay the mold metal the mold metal i am changing to aluminium okay so the summary will be the filling time 4 second the packing time 10 cooling time 30 total cycle time is 49 and the material use is PVC and the maximum packing pressure is 155 maximum uh, ingestion pressure is 155 megapascal save this Close this and I want a transient analysis of complete cooling, filling, packing, and wrapping. So I'm selecting that and select the computing manager. And select it and submit. it is running so it is completed uh, it takes around 15 minutes now we are going to uh, check the result where the mold base Morning channel. So this is a melt front time. If you want to want to see the animation, you just click on this one. Okay. We'll check uh, any air trap is there. So few air traps are there. Wet line. This is during filling only. Here one wet line is there. Here also some wet line is there. This is the filling pressure distribution. So you will get uh, the temperature, the shear stress, everything here. Now we will check the packing result details. The volumetric string gauge. molten core temperature sink mark displacement for cooling also it will show all the required details now if you want to check the wrappage that will also it will show
x, y and it's a displacement. The roundness, if you want to check the roundness, you just click this uh, roundness one and select. It will show the values also. Thank you. Hope this video will help you. Thank you.